Hello there friends, welcome again to the Nambas Kitchen and if you are joining us for the first time today, as always, a very warm welcome to you and thank you so much for choosing to stop by. Today on the menu is a very quick, easy, yet fragrant and versatile African spice mix known as Purpose Soup Mix. Raining from Nigeria, West Africa, all you need are three ingredients. And when these ingredients are combined, a lovely, pleasant, floral, cooling, earthy, woody, nutty, pungent, and even spicy union is formed and perfect for bringing your dishes to life. Guaranteed to bring those warm and big flavors in all your pepper soup recipes. And all you need is three ingredients. Roast that to release those fragrant oils and then ground into powder form. All the ingredients are available on Amazon.com and in your African shops. So here is the first ingredient, which is huentian, also known as grains of salim or negro peppers. And it has a fragrance very close and similar to the elegant scent of black peppercorns. It's more pungent, so a pinch goes a long way. Our next ingredient is calabash nutmeg, which is very similar to regular nutmeg. And the aroma and flavor of calabash nutmeg is very reminiscent of a neighborhood popular bakery. Very warm and sweet. It is also quite assertive in its fragrance and flavor. So again, a little bit goes a long way. Our last ingredient is alligator peppers. Now in Ghana, we call this esruwisa. It comes from the pot, so what you're looking at is the seeds that comes from that pot right there. So we're going to break the pot open and release all the seeds from it. So I just use my tapoli to give it a few wax, exposing the seeds within the, the pot itself. Now once you break the pot open, some of the seeds will just fly out on their own. But most of the seeds are trapped within this lightweight uh, casing within the pot itself. So what you're gonna do is to take it and rub it in between your fingers to release them, just like that. So you do that as much as possible. Take it outside and just lightly blow air onto it and they just fly out. So that lightweight casing just flies away, um, leaving the seeds behind, just like that. Now friends, alligator peppers are very similar in fragrance and taste to ginger. It's just a lot warmer and it's also rich in essential oils. So we're combining our ingredients. We need two flat teaspoons of the alligator peppers. In combination with about 15 huentian or grains of saline and about 18 of the calabash nutmeg. So it is roasting time. You want it on medium heat and you're going to roast it for about one minute, not exceeding one minute because it will begin to burn. And you want to periodically roll them inside your pan as they roast. Now friends, all of the ingredients used in this recipe are listed in the description box below, including their quantities. They are all available at your local African store as well as amazon.com. Now friends, at times you might find them in a powdery form. Okay, so if that's the case, I have listed the amounts that you need to measure for the recipe in the description box. So be sure to check it out. Once you're done roasting, which I said should not take more than one minute, you're going to quickly transfer your roasted ingredients onto a cool plate. So allow them to cool down and also to prevent them from burning. Once it's done cooling, which should take about 10 minutes, you're going to transfer into your coffee grinder or your spice blender and dry blend them till you have a fine powdery consistency. Now when the roasting happens, it causes the ingredients to release some oils, which when finally blended, it kind of clumps up like that, as you can see. But that's exactly what happens when you use fresh ingredients, which means that your homemade pepper soup mix is more potent 
than the store-bought one because the store-bought one is allowed to air dry which means that it loses its um, oils so here I have a recycled spice bottle with its lid and I'm just going to pour in my homemade pepper soup mix right into it and store it right away in my pantry and all I need is a very small pinch of it in recipes requiring pepper soup because of its high level of potency and need I say how versatile this spice mix is because really if you add a little bit of this to your peanut roasted peanut flour or kuli kuli flour as well as some onion powder ginger powder um, garlic powder and some seasoning you have suya spice mix I thank you all so much for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.